Hello and welcome to this training on a brand new feature in Access Camera Station Pro, Free Text Search. Let's start with the setup, which is really simple. All you have to do is open the Smart Search 2 configuration settings, select the cameras you want to use it with, and then check Use Free Text Search. This will then download the necessary data, so at this point you need an internet connection. Free Text Search works basically with all access cameras, no DLPU required. Like in Smart Search 2, you can either do the processing on demand, meaning when you search for something, or continuously in the background. As Free Text Search uses more processing power compared to the regular Smart Search 2 classification, I would strongly recommend that you do it in the background, as otherwise searches can take a really long time. Also make sure that the hardware is up to the task. We recommend 16GB of RAM and I would strongly recommend to enable background processing wherever possible. If everything is set up correctly, you can just open a Smart Search 2 tab, click on Object Characteristics and Free Text to start searching. So let's set the expectations right for Free Text Search. For a start, Free Text Search only considers moving objects, so there's no point in looking for static objects in a scene. You might find some, but only if another object has moved past. It uses only one cropped image from each motion trail to lower processing demands. That means that you can't search for actions like sneaking, stealing or falling because they would require more than one image. Some actions like running might work because they're detectable in one image. At this point, Free Text Search is not connected to our edge classification model. This means that if you're searching for a car in Free Text Search, you might get false positives for anything from shadows to foliage. Edge-based classification will likely get you cleaner results here, as the model is specifically trained on persons and vehicles. Note that Free Text Search is designed and intended to be used in English. As I mentioned before, Free Text Search requires an internet connection for initial setup as well as for updates. Note that this cannot be turned off and that Free Text Search becomes unavailable if there is no internet connection for a longer period of time. This means that Free Text Search is not an option for offline scenarios. Free Text Search uses an AI model which runs locally on the ACS server. The model is trained with a huge number of text image pairs, including our own material, which is specifically designed for surveillance scenarios. Let's take a look at how it works with this scene as an example. The camera detects movement and tracks the object, in this case the Axis car. It will send one cropped image of the object to the camera station server where the object will be analyzed for shape, color, patterns, etc. and be turned into a feature vector, basically a number. If you then search for a text string, this text will first be run through what is called a moderation module to block unethical search queries. Then your text query will also be converted into a number and be matched against all the object image numbers. The closest ones will then be represented as search results. You can change confidence to show more or fewer results, but the closest ones will always be on top. As I mentioned before, every text input has to pass the moderation module, which is intended to block unethical use of the tool. It's a list as well as an LLM, blocking racist, sexual and other discriminating terms and phrases. This is an ethical as well as a legal requirement. Sometimes, however, Moderation might not work as intended, and you might be able to search for something you shouldn't be able to. Or the other way around. In my tests, I was searching for garbage trucks and got blocked by moderation. I reported this using this button. There is no guarantee that anything will be changed, but my search for garbage trucks works fine now. When it comes to how to phrase your search queries, you should experiment a bit. Your search queries should not be too generic, but not too long and complex either. 
there's really no point in searching for something you can find with a classification-based search, like a white car. The classification-based search will likely be more precise. However, looking for a white van with a stripe, a flower, a logo on it is a very good input for free text search. Looking for an access car or an access van in free text search gives you much quicker results than looking for all the cars which are white or black. It is possible to exclude terms as well. The reason for this is that the system does not handle negation well. So writing access van not white won't work well. Better to use access van and then exclude white. This way I could find our van very quickly. That's it from me. Thank you very much for watching this training.